at this point, I've gone into my forecast uh, for my individual hotel, and I've updated um, all the tabs uh, that, I, that I need to uh, for my forecasted uh, month that I'm working on. And you can see uh, the system automatically is highlighting for me um, in blue any numbers that I've either changed in my forecast from the last time it was saved and or numbers that I've impacted uh, based upon changes that I've keyed in. So you notice right here, um, I've actually come in and I've updated the April 1st and the April 2nd uh, transit room sold, groups room sold. The system's automatically recalculated for me uh, the total room sold for the day, total occupancy percentage uh, for each day. And then if I scroll over, I can see that I've also updated um, my transient rate for the second. Um, if I scroll all the way to the right, the system's automatically recalculated for me as well all the room revenue for April and reconsolidated it. And if I want to jump over now and see how I'm going to hit um, as far as a monthly total uh, for my forecast, I can come over the monthly forecast tab and then scroll down to the bottom and I can look and see um, as a as total year at this point, I'm looking at a net income of $4.4 million based upon this forecast that I'm working on right now. And if I want to look at the uh, April uh, monthly total, I can scroll over, right over here and I can see that I'm at a 433000 net income and a adjusted GOP of 455. So let's say that, you know, I'm fairly happy with this forecast. Um, but I want to potentially play around with the numbers and see maybe what I could do uh, potentially if I raised some of my um, room rates for particular days in the month, how that would impact my numbers, uh, what my net income would come up to if I adjusted those rates. Well, within the system, I have the ability to do what's called a sandbox. What a sandbox does is just copies the data off into another workspace that I can manipulate the numbers in um, and play around with those numbers and compare those numbers with what I've actually keyed into my forecast. So to create a sandbox um, in this instance, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save what I've keyed into my existing forecast right now. I'm going to come up here and click the green check mark to save it. You notice all the numbers that were blue are now uh, black, which means they're permanently saved uh, within the model. And I'm going to come up here to my sandbox icon, and I'm going to create a new sandbox. And I'm going to call this sandbox uh, Adjust Group Rates. And I'm going to click OK. You notice when the system comes back, it now tells me that I'm working within my Adjust Group Rate sandbox. So any changes that I make to my forecast uh, from now on until I change this back, I'm only impacting what is in that sandbox. Now, I am the only person that can see the data that's in the sandbox. So I can do anything within this and, and not uh, impact anybody else's forecast, uh, not impact the regional totals or the company totals. This is for simply ad hoc scenario planning, if you will. So at this point, I'm going to go back and I want to say, okay, what if I increase my rates uh, on a daily basis for group uh, for the month of April? What would that, how would that impact my, my forecast in total? So I'm going to jump back to my daily revenue tab, and I'm going to come over to my uh, group rooms rate, and I'm going to scroll over to the right, and I'm going to say, okay, what if for these days in particular, so the 8th through the 19th, what if I adjusted those rates up by 20%? How would that impact my net income? Well, I could come in here on a day-by-day -day basis and figure out what a 20% increase would be. Um, but, you know, maybe I, I want to uh, be a little bit more efficient about it. I can use what's called a data spread within the, the uh, the application. Um, so I've selected the days that I want to update. I'm going to right click on those days and do what's called a data spread. And I can do a percent change or any one of these data spreading techniques that are applicable to this data. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put percent change, and I'm going to key in a 20% change, and I want to add 20% to the number that's there. I could optionally uh, subtract it uh, and or replace it with that So I'm going to click Apply. You notice what the system does is it goes through on a daily basis and actually recalculates that, uh, that rate uh, and actually increased it by 20% every day that I had selected, reallocates the total, um, refigures out my room revenue on a daily basis, resums it up. Um, now, if I jump back to my monthly forecast, I can actually see potentially um, if that made any difference at all in my net income and or my GOP for both the month of April um, as well as total year. So I can see here that with that change, I'm at a uh, GOP of 458 for the month of April. And if I wanted to go back and see what I had forecasted originally, I can click on default again and I can compare that with my actual forecast that I'm about to submit to my manager. And I can see that I'm at a 455,000 GOP um, with my forecast. So that tells me if I adjusted my rates for those days, uh, my group rates in April uh, by 20%, it's going to give me a $3,000 GOP um, margin at, at the end of the month. Um, so that you have the ability to flip back and forth between those models and make as many changes to either the revenue or the income, uh, revenue or expenses, or really any of these tabs with the model with that sandbox and compare those numbers uh, between what's in your actual forecast and what's in your um, scenario. This concludes the, um, the demo of sandboxing. Uh, if you've got any other questions, please let us know. Thank you.